Hello and welcome to our virtual open event presentation. I'm Mrs Reynolds, the principal here at Corby Technical School. Thank you so much for joining us for this presentation and I'm really sorry that you can't come and visit us at this present time to meet with all of our staff and students. This presentation will hopefully take you through some of the details around the way the school operates and our curriculum and there are plenty of other resources on our website for you to review should all your questions not be answered in this particular presentation. Our school follows a different term structure to that of most schools in the area. So we have a five, eight week term model with a four week summer and two week breaks in between. Our term begins in August and our new year sevens start in early September around the first, just for that first year. It's very important that you understand that because you may have children in other schools and your holidays won't necessarily align. We like students to be in school as early as possible and students must be here by 8.40 a.m. We have five lessons a day of 60 minutes and we have two breaks in the day, a breakfast and a lunch break where students can purchase hot food at both of those times. School day finishes at three and we will be running a range of co-curricular clubs on a Tuesday to a Thursday until 4 p.m. Just need to explain some of our school systems. So we use swipe cards for every student and every member of staff in school. Those swipe cards are used throughout the school day. Students will need them to register their attendance in the morning through the turnstiles at the front of school. They will need their swipe card to get a library book from the library. They will need their swipe card to get printing out of the printer if they need to print something off in school. And they will need it to pay for any breakfast or lunch at those times during the school day. We do have a cashless system in place, so all parents will have access to a system called WisePay that you will use to pay for meals or pay for any trips, visits or events that we may have going on in school. All students will be issued with a locker when they begin school, which is a personal space for them to keep all of their belongings safe for the school day. They will then just need to take to their lessons their pencil case with all their equipment and any other reading book or lesson resources that they require. The school is located right in the centre of Corby with excellent access to local transport. Most of our students arrive on foot, by bike or by scooter coming into school and that is our preference as a school. Our car park is very small so should parents want to come and collect students and drop them off we have very limited facilities for that so that needs to be avoided where possible. Hello, I'm Mrs Arnold, Vice Principal looking after curriculum. Here at Corby Technical School, we firmly believe that our students are the most employable students in Corby. Everybody works together to make sure that our young people acquire the skills and attributes they will need to be successful in a fast paced global economy. For students in Key Stage 3, that is years 7 through to 9, you can see we offer a broad range of subjects. The curriculum is academic and designed to maximise success. And students will study the core subjects you'd expect to find in other schools. But as a technical school, we place emphasis on the development of the STEAM principles, science, technology, engineering, the arts and maths, which are delivered throughout the curriculum, developing employability skills. We want our students to be ready to go on to their next steps and be at the top of the pile of applications whether that's going on to an apprenticeship, to university or directly into work. We know that employers are looking for young people who have not only an excellent set of qualifications, but also the skills and versatility to be able to put their knowledge good to good use, to be organised, capable of working together in a team and show initiative, innovation and able to solve problems. We expect all teachers to develop these skills in every subject area. A technical ethos runs throughout the school and staff are skilled at exploiting opportunities to bring learning to life as students relate their learning to everyday problems. We've made good links with local employers and students benefit from excellent careers provision which prepares them for the next stage in their lives. Students have the opportunity to refine their curriculum to reflect their own passions when at the end of year nine, they choose their options. So in years 10 and 11, students have the choice of a broad range of subjects. 
and as the school grows, this is expanding to take account of the needs and wants of students. Again, you can see how our technical ethos is reflected in the option choices. A large proportion of students will choose to study a computer science related course or one of the technical subjects. But as you'd expect, we also have choices to suit students who wish to follow a more arts or humanities based curriculum. We are developing our sixth form provision. Currently, our courses are rooted in the STEAM subjects and supported by excellent teaching. We offer both A-levels and level three vocational courses. As the school grows, this will expand to meet the requirements and interests of our students. Of course, the curriculum is not restricted to what we do in lessons. There's a wider offer open to all students, the extra bits we do in school without them needing to go anywhere. So we run a full programme of guest speakers, visiting artists, exhibitions and workshops such as medical mavericks and drama groups. These ignite students' passions and careers, and we ensure that all students have face-to-face -face encounters with employers from year seven. Students are able to explore who they could become through school drama and musical productions, book and library events. All of these help develop the whole child. And every year, students run an election campaign where they can consider how the country could be better run. We also offer music peripatetic lessons in a range of instruments and students are able to use their skills by contributing to choir and drama performances. We want our students to learn resilience and we involve them in competitions such as County Schools Challenge working with the local police, the Maths Challenge and robotic competitions. All our students are able to take part in our extended co-curricular provision such as coding club, art club, sports clubs, football, netball, basketball, fitness, the list goes on and on. And we also offer the chance for the older students to join the Brook Western Trust Combined Cadet Force. Not all learning takes place in school. And I'm sure you can remember some of your most memorable lessons that have taken place on trips, visits and residential. Examples of some of the trips organised recently have been the Year 7 day trip to Hunstanton, which focuses on geography, art and DT. A key stage 4 visit to Bletchley Park for computing and history, field trips to Leicester and a very successful Year 7 visit to Festo, a robotics company in Northampton. As students go through the school, we want to open their eyes to the opportunities open to them and be aspirational about their next steps. So from year seven, they'll visit universities and colleges to see what they could do next. We also do some things just for fun, such as theatre trips and run an annual visit to Comic Con in Birmingham. Our residential programme has seen students in the last few years travel to Italy, France, Belgium, Spain and beyond. Corby Technical School is an exciting place to study. And we believe that we'll develop in each of our students the qualities that will make them successful. Hello, my name is Elizabeth James. I'm the Vice Principal at Corby Technical School. My key areas of responsibility are safeguarding and student care. One of the key initiatives at Corby Technical School is the personal development of our young people. Personal development is embedded in our school curriculum and it is also supported by our outside agencies that come into our school on a regular basis and provide support for our students through interventions and workshops. We all want students to have a great education. At Corby Technical School, we have brilliant teachers to help students achieve their full potential. We have staff who are willing to go above and beyond to ensure that all students have a positive school experience. We take those opportunities between lessons, before school or at tutor time to build relationships with our students so they always feel they have someone to speak to if they have a concern. Each student at Corby Technical School has a form tutor who is also guided by the head of year in our student care team. Tutors and heads of year meet on frequent and regular basis 
or as a need arises to report, advise and discuss matters that, they, that may arise throughout the school day. Heads of Year also work collaboratively with our student care team who provide a range of interventions to help students build their resilience, confidence and overall well-being. At CTS, we fully understand that students that are emotionally healthy are more likely to succeed and are more prepared for the challenges that face them throughout their school days. Developing and maintaining a strong sense of community has always been an important part of our school. We've worked hard over the years to develop this and that community feeling is always something that people comment on when they come to our school. Developing a sense of community is essential to a child's happiness and along with our academic offer, we aim to ensure that all students' needs are met. If you would like to know more about special educational needs, then please listen to our next presentation by Mr. Kieran Chatfield, our school SENCO. For any admission to Corby Technical School, you would need to apply by the Local Authority Common Preference form found on their website. The deadline is 31st of October at 5pm. Our full admissions policy is available on our website and on this slide here you will see a brief overview of our criteria. For any applications to Corby Technical School, it's really important that your child sits for non-verbal cognitive ability assessment on Saturday the 5th of December. Invitation letters to that assessment will be sent out to any applicants the week commencing the 23rd of November and in that letter there will be some details should you have any queries about that test from a member of the Brook Western Trust staff. The testing procedure is currently being reviewed in light of Covid and we will have more information available a bit closer to the time. It's quite a lot of important admissions information that we've just given you so again just the key deadlines you must apply by 5 p.m. on the 31st of October from Northamptonshire Secondary School. If you've applied to a Brook Western Trust School, you will get a letter in the week commencing the 23rd of November, and then your child will need to sit the test on Saturday the 5th of December. As a reminder, National Offer Day, where you will find out what school your child has been allocated is Monday the 1st of March 2021. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation. I hope you found it really informative. To summarise, Corby Technical School is one of the top performing schools in Northamptonshire. The students that attend our school, we push them to be the very best they can be. We challenge them to get the best out of them, which is really important to us. Alongside that, we are also a really cohesive community of people. All of the students that come here and all of the staff that work here are expected to, to form part of that community in order to support every child that attends. We also care about each individual child and as well as developing their academic qualifications, which of course are super important, we also want to make sure that we're developing the whole child and building that confidence for them to do very, very well in their future. If we haven't managed to answer all of your questions in this presentation and with the rest of the information on our website, please do review the information on the next slide, which gives you another opportunity to ask questions. Thank you very much.